Welcome you wonderful people. Now we're going to do one of the king of the, all the exercises, the squat. But I'm going to show it to you in three different stances. So the normal squat is you're going to have your feet underneath your shoulders like this, toes slightly pointed out. You're going to try to keep your back nice and straight. I like to put my hands up here to try to help with that. And you're, as you go down, you're going to push your hips out back and going down, keeping the weight nice and even on your feet as far as you can. Keeping the knees pushed out, don't let the knees cave in, and then pushing back up, keeping the back nice and straight. Things that you don't want to do is you don't want to be bending over like this, and when you start the movement, you don't want to be on your toes or too far back on your heels. You want the weight nice and even, pushing those hips out back to help keep the back nice and straight. There should be a little bit of an arch in the back. Don't let your back round out at the bottom. So that's a neutral squat. You can also do a narrow stance squat where you put your feet close together, toes just still slightly pointed out, and then you're gonna go down, same rules apply, keeping the weight nice and even, and pushing back up. Also still trying to imagine that you're twisting your feet into the ground, keeping your knees apart. That's the narrow stance. The wide stance is you're gonna put your feet out nice and wide, toes splayed outwards. You're gonna go down, once again, as far as you can. I like to have my feet about straight up and down and straight across here. This is gonna test your hip mobility a little bit more and then pushing back up. When you push up with this one, you really wanna focus on pushing out through your toes, standing up nice and straight, locking out the hips. Let's get started. I'm gonna use a weight, you don't have to, but weight's just a great way to progress the exercise. All right, the timer is getting ready. Get ready, we're gonna start with the neutral stance. And begin. When you use a weight like this with your squats, it's often called a goblet squat. You can do it with a kettlebell like I have, or you can do it with a dumbbell. Either way is just fine. Try to keep the weight nice and even between your feet throughout the entire exercise. Go nice and slow. You don't want to be bouncing. You want to make sure that you get as far down as you can without hurting your knees. If your knees start to hurt, stop at that level. The goal though is to get your thighs about parallel to the ground. And there's our rest. So for the next round, we're going to do a narrow squat. We're going to bring our feet in, nice and narrow like this, and begin. Going down and back up. And I always like trying to thinking, I like to try to think about keeping my shoulders pulled back throughout the exercise, keeping those back muscles engaged. Here we go, 15 seconds. The narrow stance is going to be more quad dominant. And work out the front of your leg a little bit more. Okay, that was the narrow stance. Now we're going to do the wide stance. So get your feet out nice and wide. Point your toes out. And down. You may not be able to go down quite as far with this one due to your hip mobility, but that's fine. Do what you can. This one is going to focus more on those hamstrings and glutes and a bit on those hip adductors. Same thing with this one with your knees. Keep the knees out, don't let them cave in. Okay, that was three rounds, we got one more round to go. I'll give you a fielder's choice. Pick whatever stance you want. We're gonna go back to the neutral here, and I'm gonna show it to you from the side. Try to keep the weight nice and even on your feet. Don't get too far on your toes, don't get too far on your heels. Once 
When you stand up, make sure you get to full extension. Almost there. And done. Great job. You're all wonderful. I'll see you on the next one.